Okay, October 23rd, 2018. Another amateur YouTube video. Um, I thank you in advance for your patience and your tolerance. Um, but many of the mentors out there talk about journeying or journaling your process and your journey. So I am. Um, I have been blessed to be given a chance to um, go back to my art roots at the age of 58. And I'm very excited about that. I'm very grateful. So um, my art is all of gratitude. The biggest ingredient is gratitude and love with a drizzle of excitement put in there. Um, but I wanted to share, um, in case someone else out there is also just beginning, so that they realize that uh, they don't have to look perfect, like so many of you do out there on YouTube. I'm so impressed. Um, and a long time ago, I had a mentor who told me, you have to be willing to do bad art to do good art. And you'll hear me say that often, because it feels like I do a lot of bad art. But... Um, I also have produced some really fun pieces that have encouraged me to go forward. So I am. So I have here uh, a gessoed 12 by 24 canvas panel, Master's Touch. Hobby Lobby does 50% off of the Master's Touch series quite often. So I tend to go and buy up their 50% off deals like a hoarder. Um, so thank you Hobby Lobby for those deals. And um, I gessoed this last night. Again, with gessoing, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I realized I was putting it on too thick when I was doing it. So one, it was taking a long time to dry on the canvases. Um, you should let gesso dry 24 hours on your canvas. Um, but even then it would have like ridges in it or it would be kind of tacky. So this gesso is, um, I buy the kind in a tub. Um, <coughs> again, it's Master's Touch. Normally it's like $24, but um, Hobby Lobby at one of their sales, this big tub, oh, please don't let me spill it, was $12. And I have covered two, four, six, seven, probably a dozen maybe two dozen canvases with this and it's still over half full so pretty pleased about that um, of course the infamous Floetrol um, for acrylic um, don't get the kind for oil and it uh, I've used that and I tend to like to upcycle things, so don't judge me, but anything that has a lid, I've learned to use. So I'm using my husband's Powerade Zero bottles to mix paints in. And this is cadmium red with just a touch of Prussian blue, and it is mixed one-to-one, um, -one, Floetrol and cadmium red. And I believe that was cadmium, of course, Master's Touch, um, because I'm sure I got that at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. Then I mixed up, I have some copper here that is left over. I have some gold here left over. I have, again, this black. And I saw another YouTuber who is very generous with her knowledge talk about um, she doesn't care if people try to recreate her paintings because she um, mixes her colors by hand so they're never going to be like her paintings and ooh, a bug and um, especially with the flow no two paintings are going to turn out alike anyway and again I believe her last name is DeLuca so if you want to watch a professional or somebody who's way better than I am um, with doing this acrylic painting, um, 
I would go watch her videos. And she's cool enough that she even has um, people who um, tip her, or donate to her. She has a PayPal account that you can actually donate to her. And actually, when I'm a big believer in pay it forward. So when I ever get my first commission or sold piece, I think I'm going to um, send her a portion of it just because I wouldn't um, have the accelerated learning cycle that I have without having watched her videos. So I think women need to support one another. I think artists need to support one another, male or female. Um, but I'm a big believer in women helping women and, and again, expressing gratitude and paying that forward. So I'm taking this cadmium deep red and as she had did she covered the whole canvas she actually used a framed canvas um, I don't have that so I'm using this board and I have this palette knife that I got from the cake section I believe it's for spreading icing. I found that if you shop in the art areas or shop in the um, cake decorating areas, you'll find very similar tools and the cake decorating items um, tend to be cheaper. Um, so, you know, not always, but Sometimes and sometimes they have sales for that department, and I'm always looking at what can I, what can I use um, that would serve the same purpose, and you know try to save some money and get my art going. So you can see when I watch the YouTubers. They do everything. It's like it seems like the first time that they spread. It's perfect. You know, and when they, maybe they don't show their bad videos, but even their bad videos, they, they're able to fix them. It's like, which amazes me, because I have some that are, oh, I'd be embarrassed to show you. Um, and maybe that's a whole YouTube in and of itself, kind of like the Pinterest fails of art, because I've had those too. I love Pinterest, and I love um, trying things on Pinterest. For a long time I would just be pinning and pinning and pinning and then I made this decision that I had to do at least one Pinterest a month um, of something I pinned. And that was always fun and, and I will admit um, I do have some natural artistic ability although you may not see that in this video. but. Some of them were hilariously horrible. So, all right. So I have that flat base coat down. Then I'm going to, this is a pretty red. I've recently moved to Georgia. So um, everything here is black and red and white. And I've learned to say, go dogs. Um, coming from Ohio, i a huge Buckeye fan because my husband worked for Ohio State. So, OH, um, but it's also fun to be part of the local. Ooh, see, that was close. I have not added any silicone to this. So I should not talk and drive at the same time or talk and paint at the same time. Um, pretty excited to try this. I kept hearing people talk about that coconut Milk OGX. I don't know what OGX stands for, but apparently this hair product has some type of silicone base to it that allows for nice cells. And so I'm putting one drop. <laughs> okay, two drops because the first one didn't come out much. And then um, I'm going to stir that. I have 
one of the things I did was bought tons of popsicle sticks, which um, oddly enough, whenever I see the popsicle sticks, I get the flavor of animal crackers and grape juice in my mouth because in kindergarten, at kindergarten, Sunday school, what did they always give us for treats was grape juice and animal crackers. So yeah, I have that going on. Here's copper. And again, this is all leftover and I had a bunch of leftover paints got kind of a scum to it. I hope it... Okay, now see, I'm glad I checked. Because see how that's not um, flowing. I need to add some water. And I'm using the formula 90% water to 9 to 1 flow trawl. Because that was the other thing I was doing in my initial... Oh, for God's sake. See, <laughs> I'm like Lucille Ball does a painting. Um, I was putting my paints on too thick and they weren't flowing. I was going through a lot of paint and then when they did start to flow, they weren't in flow. They were like avalanche. They would just be this huge mudslide. And so I was going through a lot of paint So I've learned, I think, a consistency that works for me, <laughs> maybe. Oh yeah, we're still gonna do this. Moving to Georgia has been a bit of a culture shock for me. Love the weather. It's odd though, it's, um, at night it gets down to like 35, Four, 40 degrees, but then it gets up to 70 during the afternoon. So you have to be able to wear clothes you can shed. Whereas in Ohio, if it was 34 in the morning, it would have maybe gotten up to 40, 50s if you were lucky um, by the afternoon. So and the nice thing is when it's cold here, it's typically still sunny outside. And even in Ohio, I loved, I loved the sunshine. You can't go wrong on a sunny day. So I'm mixing this up a little more. Maybe a tad more. I think that's good. And I should probably recheck my black. See, oh, that's perfect. Um, these are all the little things that I think as you go that you think, oh yeah, that makes sense. And I don't need to note that. And then you don't note it and then bad things happen. So, all right, so I'm going to I remember the cadmium red doesn't have any silicone in it. Some gold. And I didn't think I'd like these colors when I was first watching the video, but her painting came out beautiful. So I should be so lucky. Um, feels like I need something light in there. All right, I'm going to go with it. All right, so I've watched videos where the artist talking will do like, okay, the canvas is this big. 
So I know I need X amount of ounces of paint. And I'm like, how do they do that? That's like math. And I'm very right brained. Um, I think I have a lesion in the math area of my brain, but math and art, go figure. But there are people who, oh, for God's sake, this is why I shouldn't be videoing, but you know what? It's the birth of a nation. I'm going to leave that there. Maybe I'm going to start my painting from there. Who knows? One more bloop. See, you can watch this of how not to do a painting. Right? I think that would be good. Um, all right. Now, the other thing that they did. seemed really tricky fancy was I have to reach here in the sink nothing up my sleeve look I'm getting it all over me is she had this trick where she did this I also oh yeah not working for me okay oh <laughs> oh, not working at all for me. Ms. DeLuca, I am sorry that I am not your protege. Again, how not to do a painting. I'm wondering if I can get Doesn't it make you happy to, if you are past this point in your art development, that you're like, well, I can do it better than she's doing it, for God's sakes. Yeah. All right. I don't know if I'm happy that I have... This witnessed but I'm gonna see what I can salvage because some of the salvages that I've seen these people do are incredible incredible I love the colors so I'm happy there What if I oh great there's a bee it's probably going to dive into my painting that would be my luck I'm also trying to allow myself to be okay with negative space Like all this. Um, what will happen if I do this? So at this point, the other artist has no concern that I am stealing her technique because unless her technique is Lucille Ball tries painting, she has nothing to worry about. All right. 
then and feel free to give feedback if you're an experienced painter and you have suggestions oh my gosh I would love you if you did any type of here's where you're going wrong type of feedback I'm still afraid of swiping does anybody else have that again I watch others swipe and they seem so confident and I'm like ah oh. and when I swipe it just feels like smearing I wouldn't even call it swiping I would call it smearing. Um, the other thing that's been fun though, is I have been trying using a straw. This is a Starbucks straw, which will probably be a collector's piece. Because apparently, By the year 22 something, they are not going to be handing out straws anymore. I just think this is fun that you start off with something and you're just totally disappointed with it and then you start playing with it and you're like you know what I may end up loving this we'll see see if I don't overwork it because that's the other thing I do is I tend to overwork my paintings love when I post a picture on Facebook of my paintings because a lot of my friends will say oh I see a face or I see this or I see that so it'll be interesting to hear what people say they see. Um, no, I feel like I love all this. Love, 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 love this. Lucy, you did good. But I don't know if this is too boring. Ugh. Please, whatever you do, don't do it like Janice. Right? Oh, sometimes if you turn a painting, when I actually studied art, they would tell you 
to look at your painting in a mirror. And a lot of times you could see empty areas or areas of distortion. So I'm just feeling. maybe get some better ideas of what you want to be happening with your painting. I wish I wish this back part didn't show stroke, so I'm wondering, do I add? Also might do a little. Little tail here. Just so you kind of get that wave across the entire canvas kind of look. Definitely getting down to the last of my paint, which can be a good thing. So are we going to leave it alone or are we going to keep playing with it? I guess I answered my own question there. See, sometimes when you blow, you get down to layers that want to come up but maybe I've put too much paint on um, I don't know it almost looks like a Chinese dragon to me or maybe a horse head here um, I think I'm gonna put uh, I might regret this but I'm gonna Put a little paint on so the canvas doesn't show as much. Not necessarily for the composition of the painting at all. And actually, sometimes I just like to use a flat popsicle stick instead of being all tricky with swiping and having artistic 
wrist action because I have not developed that um, like so many of the YouTube ladies have or gentlemen as well. But I just want to spread the paint and then have it settle. So I use these little choppy motions to push the paint around. And then I'm hoping it'll level itself over time. Ugh. If I were more advanced, I would probably have these types of brush strokes incorporated into the painting to maybe mean something. This is the other thing I forget to do is I forget to put gloves on. So yes, don't paint like me because then there's a good half hour of scrubbing up. Afterwards, my dad used to um, use lava soap. He was a truck driver and had very, ugh, very greasy hands when he would come home. And I often find myself wishing I had a good bar of lava soap, that wet grit that would just take off a layer of skin practically. So you can see I'm need to clean the black out or just get a new stick all together. So maybe I am going to just try to spread instead of doing that chopping technique. Ooh, that was almost a swipe, right? Not be crazy and do something actually effective. I am surprised at how frightened I am of swiping. I need to just get a bunch of panels and do nothing but swipe um, so that I get past that. Might be this canvas too. If you can tell the canvas is a little warped. I'm not sure how to address that. Like I said, I'm just kind of right now I'm not thinking long term. Which maybe I should be. But I'm just using the materials at hand. But I may have to thin this red down. That's probably the problem. Is again, I tend to be heavy with paint. I don't. So then it doesn't settle well. Uh, and some of these. Artists, they get a painting done in like 20 minutes. It seems like I struggle for hours. Okay, here we go. Swipe. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a little bit of swipe. 
It's like baby wipes. I know it's baby swipes. <laughs> I know I cracked myself up. Okay, swipe. Oh, what's going to happen with that? Never looks as good as when they do it. Hi. Don't mind the swipe, I just Mind that there's no color to the swipe. So, here we go. You too can ruin a painting in three easy steps. Knows I don't want to put more red on, but here we go. The B is saying don't do it. All right, holding my breath and swiping. Don't let me swipe anymore. I'm afraid I'll ruin it. I feel like I need to blow in here more because it's almost too uniform at this point. Yeah, this canvas is definitely warped. All right, so. Watch this lady make flowers earlier today on YouTube. I try to watch at least one video a day to see how others are doing things. And this lady was making these amazing flowers just by blowing. It was, I'd say I was kind of impressed. Again, initially I thought, yeah. This isn't going to go anywhere. And then it did. Because she didn't give up on her painting, which is I'm getting low on things. She just kept working it. 